welcome back. I have a really, really fun science experiment for us to do today, and so let's just get on into it. First thing you're going to need to have on hand is a large container so that you can put water in. As you can see, I've already filled mine up with water. You're also going to need something to protect your work surface because you are working with water as well as food coloring. You're going to need some vegetable oil or some other oil. Ask your grown-up to if you can use some sort of oil in your kitchen. I just have my recycled oil that I use for a lot of our experiments and craft projects. Food coloring of your choice, a plastic container of whatever cutting container you want so you can mix your food coloring in and something to stir with. And yeah, and your excitement because this is pretty fun. So what you're gonna do is fill your container up with water. And I have white paper towels on the back of mine just so that you can get a nice view of what this actually looks like. But you don't have to put the paper towels behind there if you don't want to. So that's all filled. You're going to take your plastic container or whatever container you have and fill it up with your vegetable oil. Now we know that oil and water do not mix. And you can tell that I've recycled mine. <laughs> See all the little bubbles in there? It's from a previous project, but it is fine for this project. So oil and water do not mix. But what happens if we add a bunch of food coloring into this and kind of get it a really, really dark color, almost black if we can. So I am in red and I'm adding some green and I'm also adding some blue. And I'm gonna give that a good stir. And it looks really dark, doesn't it? All the colors have combined together, or so it would seem. But actually what's happened is the water, those water droplets are trapped inside the droplets of oil, so it's not really colored the oil, it just appears to have. So now I'm gonna take the oil and pour it on top of the water, and let's watch what happens. I'm getting a close-up of this. It's already starting. It's already started. So what's happening is the food coloring is water soluble. So those droplets, they are going, once they hit the water, they're starting to disperse into the water. And the oil, of course, is going to stay on top. Isn't that pretty? Let's add a couple more colors just for fun. You can see. Put some over here because the oil is not, I mean the oil and the, the food coloring are not mixing. And it's just dispersing down into the water. This is a super, super easy, fun experiment that you can do with just a few things that you have on hand. And it really gives you a pretty good colorful picture of how oil and water do not mix because the food coloring like I said it is water soluble and so it immediately goes down into the water and starts to pers dispersing with all those really pretty colors and you still have that oil layer that's on top because it is less dense than the water so it's floating to the top and the water which is much more dense is down at the bottom. Scoop up some of the oil and see what it looks like since See how the oil and the colors are separating because before when we had it mixed it all up it looked very very dark but now it's starting to get much more clear this is a really fun experiment that you can do like i said and i hope you had a lot of fun with it i had a lot of fun with it and i'm going to go and clean all of this up and get ready for the next part of our video so sit tight and i'll be right back hi guys Normally at this time we would be making a snack right after our science experiment But today we're going to mix things up and we are going to make a craft Now what started this was I was taking my dog out for a walk last week and the moon was so big and so full and so beautiful I thought we need to do something like a craft so that we can talk and learn about the moon So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do it with puffy paint 
and you probably have all this stuff at home so you can make your puffy paint you just need some white glue look at all this glue you think i have enough glue look at all that glue we need some white glue and you also need some shaving cream so ask your grown up if grown up if it's okay for you to use the shaving cream this is actually gel so i don't need as much but i'll show you about that in a minute because it's pretty fun so what you're going to do is first make your puffy paint you need a third of a cup of glue and this is just regular white glue if you want your moon which is what we're creating if you want your moon to glow in the dark you can use glow in the dark glue but I do not have glow in the dark glue so I am using white glue and then I am going to add one of my favorite things in the whole entire world which is glitter and I'm going to put that on my moon to make it sparkly so there we go there is the glue I'm just using my handy dandy stirrer here and I have the gel now this isn't foam this is gel so I'm not going to use a full cup I'm just going to put a bit in here because when you stir it it's going to poof up which you are going to see momentarily and it's going to turn from blue into a very light color and this is actually pretty fun in itself and we haven't even got to the art project yet if you are just using straight shaving cream foam you want about a cup of the foam and give it a good stir and make sure you get all that glue mixed in there with the shaving cream because the glue is what's going to make the shaving cream stick to your project and create peaks and valleys for your project and yeah, that looks good right there okay now we're going to create our moon so I just have my cereal bowl I'm gonna use that as a template and I have some white cardstock this is just my from my recycle bin it's just some white cardstock and I'm going to put cereal bowl on here along with my pencil draw a circle now the moon is not always full I'm choosing to use a full moon if you decide that you want to use one of the other shapes of the moon that's totally fine go for it and have fun you can make a crescent moon you can make the half moon shape all kinds of different shapes of the moon there's actually eight phases of the moon and it takes about 29.5 days for the moon to go through all of those phases. And I'm going to leave some information in the description box down below that has some printables and some more information about the moon and all the different phases. So you can research that and have some fun learning about the moon. Okay, so now we are ready to use our puffy paint and create our moon. So you're going to need a craft brush. If you don't have a craft craft brush, you can use a kitchen sponge, you can use paper towel, anything that you can just kind of blot onto your shape. And get a good amount of the puffy paint onto your moon shape. Now at this point, after you're done making the moon, you might think, you know what? I want to make some of the planets. I want to make an entire solar system. Well, do it. All you need to do is take some of this puffy paint out, add some food coloring or some paint, whatever you have, and you can pull up some images on, if your grown up allows you, pull up some images that have the different planets in the solar system and go ahead and create all the different planets. Then after those planets are completely dried, you can cut a hole, pop a hole in there with a um, hole punch in the top of your planet, put some string in the top, grab a hanger, string those on the hanger, and you can hang that up in your room and have a solar system mobile. All right, I think that I've got that pretty much covered. And you wanna use quite a bit of this puffy paint so you can have all those craters and valleys that are in the moon, because the moon is definitely not flat. So I'm going to use the top of my glitter container to make some of the craters that are on the moon. And here it comes, whoosh. Gotta make the sounds when you're doing this. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. And also when you're researching online, you will find out that the moon, it is not made of cheese. Look at that. Isn't that kind of fun? So since I have the glitter out, I'm gonna wipe the lid off and I'm going to add some glitter to my moon. Make it all sparkly. 
and this will dry in about 24 hours. So you want to leave it out on your kitchen counter where nobody can touch it. And when it dries, all of these craters and valleys will stay nice and firm. See how you have all these peaks all over the place? Isn't that pretty? So I'm not the most patient person in the world and I want to show you the final example as well. So I'm going to go ahead and glue mine down to the paper. So you are going to need some black paper. If you don't have black paper, you can use some white paper and just color it black or blue, whatever you think the nice guy looks like. So here's my black paper and I'm going to take some glue and have just the top of my pencil. I'm gonna use that, because I use this for a lot of my craft projects. Get that all over my paper where I want the moon to go. Again, carefully put my moon down, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the pencil top to kind of smoosh it down, make it stick. And at this point, you are ready to decorate your night sky. And I have a silver Sharpie. You can also use uh, paint, whatever you have on hand to kind of make that starry night sky look. And I'm just gonna draw some stars in my night sky. You can also add some UFOs. You can add some astronauts, maybe some satellites. Maybe somebody's walking on the moon. After this moon is dry, you can have somebody on the moon, maybe put up the American flags, footprints, whatever you want to do. This is your craft, just have fun with it. Here we go, and there is some stars. And I also have a couple of self-adhesive little sequins. These are gonna be the really, really big stars in my night sky. The ones that you wish on. Oops, it fell on the moon. Here we go. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. It looks really pretty and I like it. I hope you had fun with this craft. I really had a lot of fun making with you. I had a lot of fun doing the experiment with you and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.